we're demonstrating is the ability of this truck versus that truck to get through soft terrain. We got a pea gravel pit out here. We got a couple of Mack trucks. One has a manual transmission, the other has an automatic. I'm gonna predict he's gonna either be stuck or hopping. That's hard on a transmission, that's hard on a clutch, it's very hard on a drive line. Wish me luck. Demonstration in the pea gravel. That was probably the biggest thing for me because I know what those trucks do in pea gravel. And you get stuck, like the demonstration showed. He was barely off the pavement and he was stuck. The truck tried to cross the tracks and it got stuck. And short of throwing the drive line out, I don't think it was going to make it. You know, I think you're stuck. All right. We'll see what Heather can do. Once you start getting the wheel slip, there's nothing you can do about it. And that's what the Allison does. It keeps that wheel slip from happening, and then it gets you right out. Like that? I like that. I was already sold, but this is, this is unreal. She was plowing through pea gravel from a dead stop. Is that a big deal? That's a very big deal. Very good job. How many would like to see Heather pull him out? It does a lot for you when you see a girl pull over in shorts, three feet tall, maybe a buck five soaking wet. She comes out there and pulls you out. I own a gravel company. I run around a lot of trucks like that. In pea gravel, you have no traction. You spin out, tear up drive lines, rims, axles. And that automatic was very smooth, even power, drove right through it. That was a fair test. I've seen my share of rock yards and soft rock, so that's a good test, you know? Obviously, Allison has a little smoother power delivery, and it can pull itself out. And there's a lot more gear reduction, I think, in that Mac, and it still didn't have enough to move it.